Hello all. In our previous videos, we have seen how we can combine data flow SQL transformation with Apache Beam, Python transformations, and then how we can run those pipelines, right, and data flow. So in today's video, we will see. So we don't want to use Apache Beam, Python SDK, but rather we will try to directly use SQL and try to create data flow jobs right by using data flow SQL workspace or editor right and also we'll try to see how we can submit this kind of jobs right especially SQL data flow SQL jobs using command line interface right okay so if you see so this data flow sql workspace is already been integrated with data flow and if you go to the google cloud console page you, if you open up google cloud data flow page right there you can see uh, in the left panel right you can see sql workspace or sql editor right it it look like bigquery editor only and it is similar to bigquery editor so now we will try to write some SQLs, right, which will perform certain tasks and we'll try to submit a data flow job, right. So we'll try to create that job using SQL workspace console and also we'll try to create the same job using CLI, okay. So before going to the demo, there are two things uh, we need to understand, right, right. And so let us go one by one right first of all to use the sql workspace from data flow window right so we have to enable data cadillac api right while writing sql query for data flow so it it just follows certain syntax where it uses data catalog api as part of that syntax right for that we have to enable data catalog api and also we need storage admin permissions right so because data flow job it writes some internal or temporary file to google cloud storage packet right so that we need this permission so that's as i already told we can run the same job through using cli right command line interface that is cloud shell in our case right so the syntax for this right the data flow sleek sql Look like BigQuery standard SQL. So it is similar. Only change is data flow SQL internally it uses the data catalog API. So it just follows that specific syntax over there. Okay. So once you submit this app either through Google Cloud Console page or on CLI, internally it will be converted to Apache Beam pipeline. Then it will be executed on the data flow. Okay. So we can run even batch on stream jobs. Right. You see this diagram over here, right? So hey, there you can submit the job through SQL interface or editor and also command line interface, batch or stream, and it can be converted to Apache Beam pipeline. Then it can be executed on the Google Cloud data flow. Okay, so let us move to the uh, demo directly. So I will try to submit data flow SQL job using my Google Cloud Console SQL workspace. Right? Here it is. Just click on this. Okay. Right. So I need that query. Right. So where I need to write. Let me open up Cloud Shell. Right, editor. So, if this is my SQL where I'm trying to run run this job, right? Using that to first SQL. 
right you can see right so what I'm trying to do simply this table is already available in this data set now I would like to perform group by some symbol then sum of the quantity this is what I'm trying to do so in our earlier video right we have seen similar kind of transformation uh, just by reading some CSV file from the C GCS packet and then we have we have used Python transformation to clean the data and then we have applied this kind of similar transformation like aggregation right by using SQL transformation here I don't want to use any such thing rather directly I will write a query and I'll try to submit this job right so for this you have to click on create job okay so you have to select the region right we have to run that data flow job so I will select my nearest region right Delhi I would like to select okay select the output destination output where you would like to write these results okay what is the data set I have this empty data set already created the table name right so agg this table is not available okay so this job itself once it successfully completed right it will create this table in the bigquery data set okay so i have to select this option variety of empty or append overwrite so i am selecting overwrite there are other optional parameters so let me now click on create now it should create a data flow job right let us go to the jobs and page you can see this is in queue now it will take some time to uh, run right so let us click on this Still, it is not started it will take some time it's cured it says so meanwhile we will also try to examine how we can run the same job using CLI so this is the command to run the same job using CLI I would like to submit this job from my cloud shell same thing we'll use the cloud command data flow SQL query here you have to specify the job name in which region you would like to run this job where you would like to store the results bigquery table bigquery data set and project right so and then the query so it will perform the similar task okay let me go to the job still it is in queue state just taking time okay yeah Okay. Let us refresh this page still. Okay. So meanwhile, anyway, let me try to submit this job as well, parallel, right? Anyway, it is taking time through so command line. But the job name is different here. Anyway, and also target table name also different. Right? let me submit enter right now it has it is submitted this job so it has just written some output right or result create a time job name location where it is running the same thing start time something like that now just go to this now you can see this is already running whichever is submitted earlier and the second one is in queue state go to the bigquery data window and just see okay, we have this empty data set now whatever the, the tables been mentioned in the in that pipeline right so as a target once those run successfully then you should see these two tables over here okay 
let us go to the data flow now now click on this job you should see the similar kind of graph rep graph representation of the job right so run sql and then write to bigquery okay so we'll have to wait till these two gets completed okay this is in queue state you don't see any details over here okay so this is how you can use data flow sql workspace or editor for submitting sql jobs without running any apache beam code actually and the other one is still running five minutes 15 seconds let us go to the bigquery window okay let us refresh this page now you should see one table aggregated results okay review now you can see the results right so the other one is still running this is completed you can check your logs over here for this right same thing the first job the second job still running now just have it when it this is also completed oh sorry still running yeah oh completed okay let us refresh our bq page we can see both the tables target tables right similar kind of results so this is how you can use data flow sql Thank you.